the upright out of San Antonio. Today I'm going to do a couple of things. I should be in San Antonio. So, I want to get out of the wind. Uh, so I'll do like, if this will be like a rollout. A few, I'll make a few comments. The top news is uh, Trump and DACA, which was the Dreamer program. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. And Irma, Hurricane Irma, which looks like it's going to hit Florida. So on these rollouts, by the way, Google CC Outreach 87, and you can link to everything. I'm going to try to remember to do that. Some videos go up on different sites, and they don't see uh, the actual text. So wherever you see these videos on various sites, they have Google CC Outreach 87, and you can link to everything there. I made some changes to uh, some of my little websites, and I added a function on WordPress, which is CC Outreach 87. Just simple, but it, it allows you to print. I'm going to post some of my books that have been on there for a while uh, on a few teaching videos that they're coming up. But now, for those that want to print those, just print them. Everything today, somebody actually asked me as I was leaving Corpus. Uh, they asked me, oh, John, are you writing a book? I said, well, I've written some, but I do a lot of writing. And then the person said, oh, uh, do you charge for them, John? I said, no, everything is free. And I had just put that function on for people to download and print the books and everything. And so I, our goal is to just communicate as effectively as we can. I did see my friends yesterday. The first video you saw today, I made that yesterday. <coughs> and I like the way that worked out because I just walked into that store. It's a corner store where we live called Stripes. It's like a 7-Eleven. And uh, Pro used to work for Stripes. He had a job there for a few years. <coughs> and the manager there, Ken, he just asked me. He said, uh, <coughs> I'm sure he knew that I was friends with the guys on the street. So Pro did, he's applying and he's going to get that job, which is a blessing. Um, <coughs> the Psalm I read, that'll be the, maybe the verse I'll post on this later tonight. But I forget which Psalm it is, but in the Psalm, David says, uh, he trusts in God, his soul waits upon God, and he will not be greatly moved. And then a few verses down in that psalm, he says, I will not be moved. And I think the last verse of that psalm, he says, I have heard this once, I have heard this twice. Power belongeth unto God. And what I was seeing from that was, there are things in your life and in my life, when they come, things that are unexpected, they move people. They move them in many ways. They get trouble. But David was saying part of the seeking of God is when you learn that your trust is not in men, basically that power belongs unto God, that God is in charge, there will be things that will move you. They'll affect you. They'll, they'll, but you won't be greatly moved. Those whose trust is not in God when things hit them that are unexpected, they are greatly moved, okay? Meaning it changes everything. And so I want to, that'll be like the theme. I don't want to talk long because this, today's rollouts are going to be, I might wind up back in, I was going to take the ride to Rockport and Port A and the areas that got devastated. And maybe after San Antonio, maybe I'll, the, doing the ride is a lot easier than doing the walk. So if I drive 300 miles or so today, that would be fine. The one thing I would like people to see that are not involved in politics, and when I comment on them, I just want you, uh, there's a lot of division in the country, and most of it is media driven. And it's media driven because many in the media, what, what they're looking for, just like you see in other areas of life, they're looking to win. And in their case, to win is to either get the present president 
to resign, to get impeached or whatever. That's what they are driving for, many in the media. Now, the DACA program, I'm a defender of the immigrants, and the DACA program was a program that was done by executive order, meaning President Obama made a decree that said the children that came to the United States and their parents brought them in illegally, they didn't go through the immigration process, we're going to kind of have amnesty on those kids because those children didn't do anything wrong, which I actually agree with. The problem with that order that the President Obama made was the President himself, President Obama, spoke about a year before he did that order. And he spoke, and this was on video on the news, and the President said, I can't change this by an executive order. Okay, President Obama said about immigration and about the dreamers, he said, I can't give rank amnesty to so many, uh, that amount of people, because we have a system of law in our country, and basically, to make such a broad change in the immigration policy, Obama said, was wrong or illegal for him to do. Then, maybe about a year later, he did that. After he himself said, I can't do it. And the reason why the, the DACA program or DREAMers was illegal was because of what I just explained. When you do such a broad range of amnesty like that, that has to be approved by Congress. It has to become law by Congress. Now, some of the, uh, any legal analyst at the time, whether liberal Jonathan Turley or, they all would know what I just told you, okay? But because he then later did it, all the Democrats, all the liberals, though they also knew what I just told you, they didn't really care. They wanted to make it a race issue for the next president, particularly Trump. Now, what Trump did was actually okay in this sense. If he sent it to Congress and he basically said, we're not going to go after the dreamers, the kids that came in because their parents brought them in, but I'm going to give Congress six months to do it. Whether they're going to be able to make a law, to change the immigration law, to let the younger kids that came as young kids to stay, which I would want that myself, because many of the younger kids now are under tremendous pressure. But what the media has done now is said Trump himself is uh, kind of going after the kids, but they're not being honest about it. And there are many in the Democratic Party who had an opportunity to give real permanent safety to the dreamers, to the young kids that came in, but parents bringing them in. But they didn't do it. Because President Obama, when he got elected, if people remember, he also had a majority in the Congress and in the Senate. And they could have done this. They could have made the executive order, which was referred to as DACA, they could have made it law. But they didn't do that. What they did was Obamacare. And people like Chuck Schumer said that was a mistake. Who today, he's not concerned. See, many of the liberal Democrats are really not concerned with actually working to have done something. Because they could have done it. Now, the odds on it getting done now, I think Paul Ryan, uh, Speaker of the House and others, do want to uh, accomplish this. But the odds on actually giving permanent protection to the dreamers are much lower now. But what, the, what Trump did, there were five states, including Texas, Ken Paxton, that were going to sue Trump unless he rescinded it. And they had a case to sue the federal government because of various issues. But what you see there is just a manipulation. And there are many Democrats and many liberals who would prefer to have this. If you're a young kid that came in, one of the one of the dreamers, and I'm going to end this and upload it. 
but one of them died. There was a kid that came in as a dreamer, and he died in the rescues. Okay, the news reported that uh, for Harvey and all. But some liberals and people like Schumer and others, what they would prefer to do is actually not pass a law that would give them permanent protection. Some would prefer it to go down in flames and, and not pass anything to have it as a political issue. You say, how do you know that, John? Because they did the same thing with the Obamacare. Those who were honest, uh, like Schumer and others who are Democrats, said it, it was a mistake, but now, just for a political issue. So what we have is that type of thing that takes place, both in the media and in politics. And it, it's, it's sad that that takes place, because people that really wanted to make change had an opportunity to do it, and they didn't do it. And then the change that was made on their behalf, which is called DACA, everyone knew that that couldn't stand, because he wasn't allowed to do it. The President Obama himself said, I can't do this by executive order. I'm not a king. That's what he said on the video. But yet later he did it because he knew both the media and all it would become a political game. So uh, I, I'm, this is a quick one. Remember, Google CCI with JD7. Tonight I'll post everything. And uh, we're going to uh, pray for uh, Florida. Pray that Irma would not cause the type of damage we had in Texas and still going on in Houston. And uh, we'll head out. A uh, couple comments when I saw the guys yesterday. I've had, I've, I talked to my friend Austin the other day. He goes by the name of Trouble, but his name is Austin. But you know, I had a few people that told me in the last few days and weeks. They said, you know, he's really made a change, John. He's really made a change. Now, whenever I talked to Austin, when I first met Austin a few years ago, of course, I talked to him like I do now. I said, you need to seek God, Austin, if you do any jail time for study. But he's even told me recently, and I didn't notice it as much, I guess, but he told me, you know, John, a few years ago, you would never see me talking this much about spirituality, about God, he said. But I told, I gave him that advice a few years back, before, I guess, the change was made. And others on the street have told me, yes, and they know that I kind of work with Austin. They see me with them, and I'll take them with me at times. So I, I didn't notice it as much, uh, because I didn't know him when he had the real bad, a lot of violence in his life. So I just wanted, that was a blessing, because I've had a few people on the street say, he's really, you can see he's made a change, Jim. It's not a perfect, okay? but. So I want to. Uh, I'm grateful for that, and uh, I'll make another one up in uh, San Antonio. God bless everybody.